Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm here at Genesee Country Museum, and we are going to do a walkthrough of this place. Uh, this is somewhat of a unique place in that you're not looking at a bunch of relics under in glass cases, uh, sitting here, walking around on carpets and a air-conditioned room. No, <laughs> you walk around outside in this place. This is about the 18th century and how they lived back then. Uh, so, you want to get started? And my camera is perched on an unusual display, which I'm going to show. There will be interactions with people. <laughs> There's a lot of people. It's Mother's Day today. So there will be a lot of interactions. Everything's unplanned, unscripted. No actors other than the ones the museum uses in their displays. We'll get to that. Anyway, I'm going to grab the camera and we'll show you this unique painted horse that I'm looking at out of the corner of my eye. If you all can see this, this is an old painted horse with a uh, top hat. Very unique display. I've been here twice before. I'm going to actually have to split this up into two parts because this camera sucks a lot of memory. I could fix that if I wanted to, but uh, I don't want to. Because I like the quality. Alright. Cute horse, right? Let's take a look at the eagle statue while we're right at it. And then we're going to start going around to some of the displays. A few years ago, I was out here, and I attended a Civil War reenactment. It was unreal. You know, they had hundreds of actors and such. Is that magnificent or what? Let's take a look at it. What this is. Genesee Eagle, Kent Olberg, Swedish American, 1945. A decade in the spirit of. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Of Rochester, New York, and the early settlers of the Genesee Valley, Valley who made it prosper, May 21, 1984. Magnificent. Okay, I'm going to walk around with all the buildings and put this on hold. Because if I don't, I'm going to use up too much memory. <laughs> Statues of wild turkeys. Strutting grounds. DHS. Whale. American. 1951. Statues of black bears. Lots and lots of statues around here. I think we'll uh, go in and take a look at the John Whale uh, Gallery in there. However you pronounce that. Wheel, whale.
Silver King. DHS wheel again. Uh, might know what kind of fish it was if it was real, but since I don't, we'll go ahead and take a look at this gallery and see what we can find in here. I'm going to put this on hold, on hold until I'm ready. Okay, I am inside. I guess that's the way it used to be. This will be a horse-drawn carriage, I'm assuming, without the engine. And without horses, I mean. And we'll just go along. I'm going to have to research this guy because I really don't know who he is. Or was, or whatever. Obviously by gone to a different era. I ain't gonna spend a lot of time in here, but it's worth just looking at the stuff and seeing some history. I would assume. About 1775, travelers introduced Indian cashmere shawls with swirling pear shaped patterns, Buddha, into Europe, where the shawls became instantly fashionable. Enterprising weavers in Paisley, Scotland, made their own versions of the cashmere shawl in 1808. White power looms. Expanded production of these colorful textiles became universally known as Paisley shawls. Okay, so I promised this wasn't a place where you walk around and do things in glass cases. Well, this is just one uh, place here. We'll get to the we'll get to the outdoor stuff. The uh, classic hoop skirts. Those had to have been unpleasant to wear because yeah, the women had to wear these. Uh, pretty much everybody knows this. Those big structures or whatever they were. Unbelievable. More glass case stuff. This is why I'm not going to spend a lot of time. This really isn't my bag, but, uh, Basically, look at the paintings this guy did. I'm gonna have to look this guy up. I don't even know who he is. Now, this is history of a bygone era. New York State is Iroquois country. Basically. Okay. 
Make a balcony with steps. <laughs> the steps don't no, go I have to take it again. I the first the step is a big one. It goes into a pool with no water. You gotta keep your hand there this time. Just thumb in closer. Well, you got it. Alright, I gotta save it. Save it. Okay. These are the kind of toys children used to play with, now they play with cell phones. My own times have changed. I guess these are like the Legos of a long time ago. And, of course, afternoon tea. Then we get to the uh, outdoors part. You're going to be amazed at the types of buildings that existed. And for you millennials out there, let's remember one thing. There were no phones. Well, there might have been... There was telegraph, depending on what area you're in. There are no cell phones. There are no computers. Fox chasing Jack, uh, Jackrabbit. Snowbunny, whatever. There are no computers. None of that. People did everything by hand. This is a mountain lion sculpture. I think we used to have them here. Not anymore. Well, here we go. The panther. Well, they're all, most of these, uh, these big cats are in the genus Panthera. So they're pretty much all related, including the lion. This one I'm certain of. This would be a bobcat. Obviously, unique sculptures are done a different way. Bobcats are smaller. I once had one that was facing me down. I never saw him, but you hear him growling at me. Even went out with a 12 gauge one night looking for him. I guarantee you, if I spot that bobcat, it will be dead. Alrighty, let's get out and take a look at some of the buildings and the way these people lived way back when. Hello. Okay, we're about to pass into the area where you have the old buildings. And we're going to get a look at some 19th century uh, living and such. have a couple of uh, actors who are dressed in 19th century garb. I think my fondest memory is when I saw some kid here playing a fiddle. I don't know how this kid could have learned the 
fiddle that well. Unreal. That's the way they dressed back then. I think we'll get started with this building. There are older bu buildings still. This is not even the oldest. Uh, you can see for yourself. Uh, this is like a recreation of an old store, complete with you know types of things they sold, the relics. Slavery meetings. Uh, July 
this is real history, folks. So this isn't the garbage that's being taught in schools. You cannot learn about history by going to a public school. I don't say that again. You cannot learn decent history by going to a public school. It's not going to happen. All right, we're on to the next one. I'm just kind of meandering around. This is an interesting looking house. They're lined up right in a row. Say so. Homemade toys. Any questions? Yes. There's something hanging on the wall out there. My husband wants to. Oh, oh sure. 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 Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that is a huge. A food jam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.